Joe Hopkins here, and I wanted to talk today a little bit about YouTube channels and monetizing them. Because, uh, well, I have a YouTube channel. It's not a big channel at the moment. I hope sometime in the future somebody's watching this and they look at my subscriber count and go, wow, that's a huge channel. What do you mean it's not that big? But at the moment, it's not that big. And I'm monetized. I'm not making a ton of money, but I'm making something, right? And I get a, a lot of questions, mostly from people I know, friends, family, and uh, people that I'm around a lot asking how you, do, you know, do I make money? How much money I make? Uh, how do you do that? How do you <coughs> do a YouTube channel? And I understand the interest because it seems really cool. You know, you shoot videos at home and you make money at it, <laughs> right? And the people who make the most tend to do a lot of editing, which I'm not, I'm not good at. So I just don't. <laughs> so I should get better. I should get better at it, but I kind of like what I'm doing. And I'm going to shoot you guys straight on it because I've also seen a lot of these channels that teach you how to do YouTube, how to do YouTube with, you know, without making videos and without being in your videos and how to get a million subscribers in a month or just crazy nonsense like that, right? So I figured I'd shoot you guys straight about actually starting a YouTube channel and monetizing it. Most channels that get monetized, because, I mean, to be honest with you, a lot don't. They never get that far. Uh, but most of the ones that do get monetized, on average, it, it can take up to two years or more to get to where you're monetized. Monetizing means you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within the last year in order to monetize. I know, uh, I actually know a number of YouTubers and not all of them are monetized, right? Uh, I know one who has the subscribers, but not the watch hours. But it can take a while to get monetized and people get discouraged uh, in the meantime. And a lot of times they're a little discouraged when you first get monetized and you're a small channel that you're not making much money. Most people don't blow up right away. It took me a little over two years on this channel to get monetized. Uh, <clears throat> one of the best ways to not get discouraged and to keep at it is to really do videos that you enjoy making and are on su uh, a subject or something that you already enjoy doing, i.e., best thing to do, monetize or uh, start a YouTube channel based on your hobby. Because then you have the potential of monetizing eventually. And it's something you're doing anyway, right? I have uh, some friends that are really into guns. They own a lot of guns, they go shooting all the time. and. I've told some of these guys, you, you should just bring along a camera, review your guns. I mean, some of these dudes own like between 30 to 50 plus guns. You could start a channel reviewing guns and probably get to monetization before you run out of guns that you already own to review. I kind of did that with guitars. I didn't have that many guitars, but well, at the time, but uh, <coughs> I started reviewing the ones I owned, the ones I, I just bought. My hobby is music and I love guitars and I'm gonna buy them anyway. So why not start a channel, right? And that's kind of the secret to keeping at this is doing something you enjoy doing that you would do anyway, even if you weren't filming it, right? And then you just go that extra step and make a video on it. And that's what I uh, always suggest to people. You want to do YouTube, do your hobby. Do what you're doing anyway. Just bring along a camera, right? Uh, so for any of you guys out there that are looking to do this kind of thing, that's, that's the same advice I'd give you. Whatever it is you're doing that you love, if it's golf, if it's guns, if it's guitars, if it's cars, whatever it is, do videos on stuff you're doing anyway. And that way... If you never get to where you monetize, you're not really out anything. But if you do get to where you monetize, well, you're making some money back on something you would do anyway. But like I said, uh, a lot of people don't get how difficult it can be to get to monetization. And a lot of the how-to channels are a little disingenuous about that. They make it sound like it's a quicker, easier thing than it is. 
And it it's not. This is like my, oh God, how many channels have I had? My wife and I had a channel and we only ever got to, we did it for three years doing music and only ever got to about 260 subscribers. And we enjoyed doing it. it we weren't really aiming to get monetized at the time, but, uh, you know, it was fun. So we kept at it. We wouldn't have kept at it if we were just aiming for the money. But we were having fun and we we're building an audience with our music and it, it was a good time. <clears throat> I've tried several channels with the eye to monetization, doing different things that never really got there. Uh, this one did get there. But like I said, it took about, from the time I first really started on it, a little over two years, right? I think two years and like three or four months, something like that. So when you're looking to do something like this, make sure you're enjoying it. Because even if it does blow up, even if, if you get like a million subscribers in the first month, if you don't enjoy doing it, you're not going to keep doing it, right? So that's, that's important. It, it's important to enjoy what you're doing. <laughs> I know I've said that a couple of times, but it's the biggest point. Do something you enjoy doing and film yourself doing it. Uh, if you enjoy video editing, hey, bonus, man, that, that's great. Um, and there's good free editing software out there, that kind of stuff. You know, there's good uh, free picture editing software for thumbnails and that kinds of things. And there are a lot of, uh, a lot of channels on YouTube that'll teach you how to do things like thumbnails and video editing and, and all the uh, basic stuff that you need to do to do this. But yeah, any of you out there that want to try starting a YouTube channel, you should, because you never know. You might blow up or you might not. But if you enjoy doing it, uh, you're, not, you're not out of anything. You haven't lost anything. I enjoy this. I, I enjoy this kind of thing. But uh, yeah, people ask me a lot, actually, how I, how I got to where I'm making money. And that's what I tell them. You tape yourself or video yourself. We don't use tape anymore. It's all digital. We video, you video yourself doing something you enjoy doing and just start putting it together as content for YouTube. And you don't have to know everything or be good at it to get started. Because you learn as you go. Uh, I look back on those first videos that my wife and I were doing on our previous channel, and they were terrible. <laughs> I mean, the music was good, but the video quality and sound quality were just, just awful. But we were working with what we had at the time and doing the best we could in that moment. And, you know, you get better over time. Over time, you, this becomes a, yet another hobby. It's, it's kind of like a hobby within a hobby. I'm, you know, videoing my hobby and the videoing becomes a hobby and you end up acquiring better stuff to do the video stuff. You end up acquiring lights, like I'm well lit here, more or less, because I have lights that I bought. I have a better camera. I have better sound. I've, you know, I got this little lapel mic because... It's helpful to have these things. You start collecting stuff like that. But I would, I would encourage anybody to start a channel and at least give it a try, right? Why not? YouTube's going to pay you if you get to that point, you know, where you can monetize. And that's awesome. Even if it's just a little bit of money, it's something. It's more than you were getting before. And like I said, I'm not making a lot at this right now. But uh, you never know. It might grow. My channel is still growing. And who knows where it will end up, right? So if you do want to get started, basically, just bare bones, you need a camera. I'm looking at a camera right now, right? You guys are inside the camera as far as I can tell. You need a camera. You need some kind of basic video editing software. Like I said, they have those for free. You need, uh, it would be good to do thumbnails, which means taking a screenshot, you know. Uh, it's good to kind of like, just sit still for a picture like I think mean, you can just take a screenshot and add words and whatever else canva is good for that online it's free and I've I don't I use something else now but I used to use canva and that works great and uh, that that's about it actually if you have an iPhone you can do pretty much everything you need on your phone. I, I imagine the other phones too. I have an iPhone, so that's the one I know. I don't use it because 
I'm just, I'm used to using what I have. But uh, yeah, you could do everything on your iPhone. They have uh, apps. They have an app for that. Isn't that what they say? And most people have a phone with a camera that they, they could download some basic editing apps. And I'm sure a certain number of them are free. So yeah, you guys, any of you out there who want to try uh, your hand at this should go for it. And yeah, most of you have hobbies. Most of you have something you enjoy doing that you can do in a way that's entertaining. And by entertaining, I mean, you can do funny bits based on your hobby. A lot of people do that. You can do uh, instructional stuff on your hobby. You know, we all watch videos like that. If, if you're a guitarist, you watch instructional guitar videos and you watch funny guitar videos. You can do a mix of them. You can do stuff where you do comedy bits that include your guitar or music or music based. You can do the same thing. I watch a lot of fitness channels and they do the same things with fitness. Some of them are instructional, some of them are comedy, some of them are a mix, you know, some of them are inspirational, that kind of stuff. But you can work your hobby into something you do on YouTube and get to where you make money at it, maybe. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, not everybody gets to that point. And the people who do make money, like me, don't always get to where they make very much. And that's fine. Like I said, anything's better than nothing. And the journey, as long as you're having fun, is, is worth it even if you never get to that point. It's worth a shot. What, what are you out, really? Like I said, if you already have a phone, you have everything you need to at least get started. And if it never goes anywhere, what did you lose? So... <laughs> It's just my thoughts on it, right? It's fun trying. I've tried a lot of stuff that didn't succeed in life. And I've tried a lot of stuff that did succeed in life. But if I didn't try stuff, I never would have had the successes. So there you go. Anyway, I hope you guys found this somewhat informative. Don't listen to those channels that tell you you can, you, you can be a YouTube star in a month. It just doesn't happen for most people. Every now and then somebody does something that's really cool and to a degree gets lucky because luck is always involved and, and gets there really quick. But most of us don't. You do have to put in the work to some degree, how much or how little's up to you. So anyway, hope you guys liked this video. If you did and you want to see uh, some other cool stuff, you can subscribe to my channel and stuff will come up. Here at the end, there's an end screen and some playlists will come up. There's reviews if you want to see, you know, instrument reviews. And there's a songs playlist if you want to hear my songs, right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs>